welcome to Calvary Temple Church St. John. Tonight we're having a special online prayer and praise event. And tonight we just want to worship the Lord together, spend moments of quiet reflection with Him. So as we begin, let's worship Jesus and adore Him with some music. Join with me, if you will, as we just praise the Lord together. We've waited for this day, we've gathered in your name, calling out to you. Burning like a fire, making a desire, burn our hearts with truth. Cause you're the reason we're here, you're the reason we're seeing. So open up the heavens, we want to see you. Open up the floodgates, the mighty river flowing from your heart. Feeling every part of our praise. Your presence in this place, glory on our face, looking to the sky. Descending like a cloud, standing with us now, Lord, unveil our eyes. Cause you're the reason we're here, you're the reason we're seeing. So open up the heavens, we want to see you open. A mighty river flowing from your heart, feeling every part of our breeze. Open up, open up, open up the heavens. We want to see you open up the floodgates. A mighty river flowing from your heart, feeling every part of our breeze. Show us, show us, show us your glory. Show us, show us your power. Show us, show us your glory, Lord. Show us, show us, show us your glory. Show us, show us your power. Show us, show us your glory, Lord. Oh, open up the heavens, we want to see you. Open up the floodgates, a mighty river flowing from your heart. Every part of our praise, open up, so open up the heavens. We want to see you open up the floodgates, a mighty river flowing from your heart, feeling every part of our praise. Yes, Lord, open up the heavens, show yourself to us, open our minds, open our hearts, Lord, to your truth. Show yourself to us, God, in great power. Tonight, as we focus together, I want us to look to the word of the Lord. And if we can look at Psalm 100, we're going to read through that as we connect with God through worshipful scriptural declaration tonight. So let's let's do that. The words will be on the screen or in your Bible, depending on your version. Psalm 100, and it reads with the lady starting first. Shout for joy to the Lord, all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful songs. Gentlemen, join me. Know that the Lord is God. It is he who made us, and we are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and praise his name. For the Lord is good, and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. Psalm 100, 1 to 4. Yes, Lord Jesus. This is oh, powerful. You, Lord Jesus, are good. You awesome, God. Your faithfulness endures forever and ever. Our beloved Father, please come down and meet us. We are waiting on your touch. Open up the heavens, shower down your presence. We respond to your grace. with anything ordinary we won't be satisfied at all but 
sing that again. We won't be satisfied. We won't be satisfied with anything ordinary. We won't be satisfied at all. So open up the sky, fall down my green. sky fall down like fire we don't want anything but you our beloved Jesus please come down and meet us in the glory of your light earthly things don't matter earthly things don't matter they just fade and chatter when we're touched by love divine. We won't be satisfied with anything ordinary. We won't be satisfied at all. We won't be satisfied. We won't be satisfied with anything. Satisfied at all. So open up the sky, fall down like green. We don't want blessings, we want you. So open up, open up the sky, fall down like fire. We don't want any. says his message to us God is glorious God is wise the Bible tells us that God is provider he's holy he's omnipresent he's kind God is loving I thank God that he's infinite God is savior the Lord is gracious our God is righteous God is judge. The Lord is merciful. God is omnipotent. The Lord is healer. 
The Bible tells us that God is just. God is omniscient. God is perfect. The Lord is good. God is self-sufficient. God is faithful. The Bible says that God is immutable. It means he never changes. And God is baptizer. May those words wash over you. May the reality of that truth encourage you as you're reminded tonight in this night of prayer and praise of who God is. Would you take even a moment right now and just express adoration to God with your own words, with your own thoughts, with your own heart. You're amazing, Lord God. You are amazing. Because I want us to 
as if we have little post-it notes wherever we are, we probably don't, but we can in our minds and heart, and just jot a note, God, I thank you, I praise you for whatever it is that he's done for you, maybe this week, maybe today, let's praise him, let's thank him for the things that he has accomplished. Don't only think of things from many years ago, which is great, but also think of things right now as well. Let's just take a moment and just, just praise him, just thank him. Go ahead, with your own words right now, with your own heart, let's adore Jesus in a very intentional way. today, in the last few days, in the last few weeks, in this last year, you've been at work, God. We praise you. We thank you. We, we scatter all over right now our hearts and our lives, post-it notes of thanks and praise and gratitude to you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Please. 
the house of the Lord. May we, those following the Lord, bow before him. We have some scripture that we want to declare together today. It says in Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 10, I am God's workmanship, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for me to do. He has great plans. He's doing great things because he is mighty to save. Everyone needs compassion, a love that's never failing. Let mercy fall on me. Everyone needs forgiveness, the kindness of the Savior. The
step down into darkness. Open my eyes, let me see. Beauty that made this heart adore you. Hope of a life spent through. of your spirit, Lord. We pray for a release of the gifts of the Holy Spirit among the whole body of Christ. That all of your, your different parts of this church, this assembly, Lord, would be functioning at full capacity, Lord. That we would see different giftings rise up within us. That we would serve one another, Lord. That we would, we would work together with the different abilities and talents and supernatural divine giftings that you bring. 
All for your name's sake, Lord, all for your honor. We pray, Lord Jesus, for a fresh touch of God upon our city, Lord. For a fresh hunger, a fresh renewal, Lord. We pray that you would be deeply working within the streets, within the homes, within the, the lives of this city, oh God. We need you, Lord. We need you, Lord. We need you, Lord. We pray for an awareness. Lord, of the urgency of the task of harvest before us, Lord, that you promise that the fields are white into harvest, but the workers are for you. Oh, God, move today. Move today, Lord. Give us the urgency of the hour. We pray, Lord, for an understanding of the desperate conditions that surround us, that we would see with eyes of discernment, with eyes of faith, oh, God, those things that are seemingly just circumstances by happening stance, but Lord, the realities, in some cases, there's spiritual forces at work. Lord, I pray that you would give an awakening within our communities, within our region, O oh God. May a desire for you spring up, O oh God. We pray for a harvest that fills all the churches in our city, that many would flock, that many would want to know you, Lord, that many would hunger after you, that many would follow after you, Lord Jesus. Help us, Lord, to build disciples. God, may it start within us. May you build our lives, Lord. Build our lives, Lord, on the foundation of your truth. Worthy of every song we could ever sing. Worthy of all the praise we could ever bring. Worthy of every breath we could ever breathe. We live for you. Yes, we do. We live for you. Jesus. Jesus, the name above every other name. Jesus, the only one who could ever say. Worthy of every breath we could ever breathe. We live for you. Yes, we do, oh God. We live for you. Because you're holy, Lord. No one like you, there is none beside you. Open up our eyes in wonder and show me who you are and fill me with your heart and lead me in your love to those Oh, oh, oh. 
Take care.